Hi, in this video, we would like to show you IIT in LA plugin demo using Visual Studio Code and also for the project uh, React IIT Next. So let's get started, Eric. Okay, so what you see on my screen is basically the readme for the repository of the internationalization ally. Um, and this is where you can access the configurations and settings, as well as information on how to use it with certain coding frameworks. What we want to show you right now, though, is how you can access those configuration settings and examples so you can help configure the internationalization ally on your in your coding environment. So I believe I go to examples, right, Anil? Yeah. I'll click on examples. And we'll first, we'll show you examples by framework. So. Here is a directory of all the different frameworks that internationalized that the IIT and the Ally works for. And since our project uses the React IIT Next library, that's what we'll use. And if you'd like to see an example of the settings used, you can click on the .vs code and then settings.json. And these are just the default settings. I think for this project, and we'd also like to show you another page within the repository that's of interest for configuring. And that is within the configs, common configurations. These are default settings for most ITIN and Ally products that use ITIN and Ally extension. Just wanted to add that. You can also modify it in your settings.json, which Eric is going to show in the next demo. Mm -hmm. That's how we'll begin. We'll begin with configuring the IT and Ally. So it's quite easy to install. You just type in I18 Ally, and there's an install button here. And once you click install, you can see this page. So if I click on the cog and go into extension settings, the first setting I'm interested in is specifying my locale path. So I'll search for locale paths. It's not showing the one I can modify locally, which is so bizarre. So I guess in settings.json, that's not what I wanted because it's global. So it's mm -hmm. in source forward slash locales. If this doesn't appear for you, immediately you can create the .bs code folder, the settings.json file and write this in. This is very important. And now I'm going to create that actual locales folder because I don't have it yet. Mm -hmm. Within that full locales folder, I'm going to make an en.json file. There we are. So far, we've installed the international internationalization ally, looked into how we can configure settings, and also created the locale file path, the default file path that our ally will, will send keys and key values to and created that file within our folder directory. Now, it doesn't look like it's actually appearing yet. So we need to get the internationalization ally to appear within our VS code. We have within our dependencies, we know we're running IIT next, but for some reason, maybe within settings, we should specify or, you know. Uh, Eric, looks like it is not saved. Can you save this settings here? I just saved it. And oh, and there it is, the IT and Ally has appeared. So those settings saved. If I go back to the app.js file where we have hard-coded strings, you immediately see a few things. So within the IT and Ally plugin, you can see the keys that are in use, the keys are not found, and hard-coded strings. You'll have to use the drop-down menu to access the identified hard-coded strings. And then they are underlined by default with this squiggly golden yellow color uh, underline. When you click on the string, a light bulb will appear next to it, or you can then you have the option to take three actions. You can ignore the detection for the current file or globally, or extract the text to that configured locale file path. So for this one, I'm going to ignore it. I guess I have to ignore it twice. Then I'm going to extract this hard-coded string. So I select extract text into IT messages. So that's the key name. This is the placeholder. We're going to use a flat style. 
we have a key and key value within our en.json file. It's uh, crucial that you it's crucial that you get the the locales path correct. Otherwise it won't happen. It'll cause a glitch in, the, in your system. So now it's really easy. If I go through, now that everything's been configured, I can now find the next hard-coded string and I can click here also to extract it. I choose those two options and I've extracted it. Now it will appear in my en.json file. This is there anything cool. else we need to show? If you can hover on the translation keys and we can also show the editor, IITNALA editor on the here, if you just, or okay, on the app.js, okay. can we show the editors? Yes. Yeah. Can show that preview and editors, edit translations. So we only have an English locale configured at the moment. So we're only seeing English, but I guess if I learn React right now, let's add some urgency to it. And the change appears here within my locale file. What are the other options? So we can. Eric, can you also add a, a Spanish? We can, I can already see here. So we can change it here. This is the editor. We can see the changes here. Mm -hmm. And here we see the actual, the text that's being injected. I guess as if we don't click on that placeholder, we see the English text as it appears within our locale file. So let's add, like you were getting to, let's add a do this general international Spanish. And if I go to app.js, how do I get this text into the Spanish one? Is there a way to do it directly from here? We can include it here. Look yeah. at, so it detected the Spanish locale file. Translate. Oh, I think this is Google Translate. So I just translated it with Google. Well, and it appears well. here translated. And we can do it for this one as well. And I do know, based on what we saw in the GitHub repository, if I want to see this text being presented to me in Spanish, I have to go into my settings.json. What do I need to change? Display, Display language. So copy that. All right. Into I18N. I like keystroke flat, L18N, ally, display language, yes. And that should work. So now I come here and we are seeing wow. the display language in English. Very cool. Cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what we wanted to demonstrate. Thank you, Eric, for the demo. Yeah, this is a useful tool for starting the internationalization process after you've selected an internationalization library that you'd like to use. Thank you.